Hello, I am Peter Helmetog, and the square knot is also known as the joining knot. I'm going to teach you how to do the square knot using the edge method. The edge me method is explain, demonstrate, guide, and enforce. This method works because of its four parts. Now I will show you how to do the square knot. Got my one end. Got my second end. They hold about six inches back to give me enough room. So I don't have to hold, pull it any further back. I put the X right where my thumbs are. X. X. This one right here is up is higher up. Right here. I'm gonna bring it down and the back. Now it goes over and under this one. It's on my other one. I pull it a bit. This one since it was over first, it's over now. So now I put it over the other one, making another X, which is over. Now the one that's under, I'm going to bring it under. Now, over. Now I have my squ square part of the square knot. This is where the square knot becomes a square formation. Now, what, now that's why it has its name. This is how it looks like when it's tied. This knot is used and is called the joining knot because it is very good for joining ropes. It's very easy to tie and untie. We d use it at the Klondike. The Klondike is a winter event for Boy Scouts. How to untie the square knot, you take one loop and grab the other one too. Then you pull. There's another way to do the square knot where you make two bites or loop or ends your string, making two loops. Now that I have my two bites, I can start. One bite goes through the other one. Then you push your two strings, but in this case I don't have two strings, so I pull my string in my end, and, pull, and then I just pull it all together. It makes the square knot, however, since I do not have two ropes, it looks like it's, there's three. This is another way to do the square knot. Same way to untie. Please use the square knot. It is extremely strong and it works very well. It is very quick to tie and untie.